Now to our final question, candidates, Congresswoman Custer, if the House flips Republican, how can you be effective? By working across the aisle, and that's what I've been doing. When I went to Congress, I promised a new approach, and that's exactly what I've done, is bring people together to get the job done. The best example is starting the bipartisan task force on mental health and addiction with Frank Ginta when he was in Congress. I also have a bipartisan task force to end sexual violence that I work on with uh, Representative Fitzpatrick from Pennsylvania, and we even have a bipartisan ski and snowboard caucus with John Curtis from Utah and we work on immigration and climate. We didn't talk much about climate but it's critically important to the ski industry and to tourism here in New Hampshire and we need to invest in renewable energy and that's something that we can work on together. Mr. Burns, how would you be prepared to deal with a divided House and Senate? Well, I'm a really nice guy and people find me amusing. Um, but uh, there are issues that I'd like to work on with Democrats. I think I'm the only Republican right now running and quite frankly the only person up on this stage that believes in uh, Medicare for all. I believe that we're the type of country that we can offer health care to everybody at a lower cost. Right now 60, 70 percent of people are on some sort of government assisted or fully funded health care. It's, it's the people in the middle class who are paying for everybody else and then wondering why they, they don't have health care. We should have health care for all. No child should be without health care. I do believe in working towards a single payer system, but with caveats. Nothing is 100% free. You know, I want to take, I want to bring, um, um, particularly like cancer testing. I want to take it away from being a political football when we talk about women's health and saying that we need to continue to plan, uh, fund Planned Parenthood. We need to bring that to back to the hospitals, to the doctors, and we need to make that accessible to everybody, like $5 to go in to get a breast exam or a pap smear. Everybody should have very cheap access to healthcare, starting with the critical uh, preventative healthcare and then moving towards something, but make it make sense.